Hey, what is up, YouTube? Welcome back for more Donkey Kong Country 3, and today we're heading into a K3. A lot of threes in this episode. This is Snow World. It's pretty, it's pretty interesting. Sorry, my cat's in here, so if you hear, like, licking of the skin, that'd be him. Crevice Creepers. A lot of alliteration in this world, too. I think this is a mountain level. It is! I really fucking love these levels. Because of the music and the just just the overall way they look is really amazing. Like the backgrounds, oh, I really wish they made a whole world just based on these. Because I would just fall in love. It'd give this game so many more brownie points than, than I, I, I give it. But yeah, these levels are fucking amazing. There's a lot of them in the bonus world, I think. Is there a bonus world? I forget. I don't know. I It's been so long since I 100% in this game. Run. But yeah, this level is really cool. It's probably one of my favorites in the whole game, honestly. Oh, that's not how you're supposed to do that. Oh, well. I haven't been going after those anyway. Just because of the design of the ropes. Like I said in the past few episodes, I really love speedrunning the rope levels. And the TNT guys add just the right amount of challenge for speedrunning the rope levels. I don't know. It's just, it's a perfect formula. And I love it. It's, it's like one of the things this game really got right, was these, these type of levels. I'm in love. Ah, oh, shit. Oh no, idiot, dumbass, fucker. God damn it. Alright, let's try that again. Did I get the halfway barrel? I did. I, I might as well just assume anytime I die I've gotten the halfway barrel because there hasn't been one time where I've died and I haven't. So I'm gonna go ahead and assume that. Ooh, I was pretty close to it though, when I died. Fuck you, kitty. Kitty's so much fucking bigger than Dixie, it's easier for him to f get fucked over. Alright, drop. Alright, this part's tricky. Tricky dicky. Gotta like, lure them. Alright, let's be careful here. I always forget, because I never really make it to these levels. Because I only play like the first two usually, especially for streaming or something. Because it takes me a while to get fuck off. God damn it! I should have switched to Kitty. Fuck! Now I got this big ass to deal with. All right, go. Oh Jesus Christ! Yeah, Kitty's. You could feel the amount of. Oh shit! All right, this is where the game starts getting harder. So it'll probably be longer episodes, just because uh, I'm gonna die a lot more probably. And this is a separate recording session, so I'm not on the high that I was last time. I, I usually do two worlds per recording session, so this is my third recording session of this game. And it's a whole new day. So, let's try this. Ooh. I don't understand how this man... Fuck. Doesn't hang low enough for the TNT barrels to hit him. Like, hit his legs or something. Go. Okay, let's see. Go into the barrel. Shit. I almost forgot about that mate. Oh. Let's see. Alright, we're getting close. There's a G. We got this. Where am I going? Oh shit, there it is. Sweet. We beat the level, yeah. It wasn't too bad. One of my favorite levels in the game, Crevice Creepers. All right, heading into Tearaway Toboggan. Do you guys know what a toboggan is? I think it's a slab of wood that you ride in or something. Maybe we'll see in this level. Oh yeah, that's a toboggan. Was that thing in the furnace earlier, was that considered a toboggan? I, this, this, the color scheme they changed in this snow world versus the one in the first world, it's very interesting. They, they made the colors very vibrant in this level versus the other one. I don't really know why they would do that. Maybe, and, and, and you know what it reminds me of is the, my death. It reminds me of the Game Boy Advance version of this game, because in the Game Boy Advance version, for some reason, the colors are very, a lot more vibrant, and I don't know, that's just the style they went with for those games. I think it's better because it's just a small screen, that more colors would make it stand out more. Okay, so it's confirmed you can land on the bees. That's the thing. Fuck. Fuck. Okay, careful. Careful. 
this takes nice precision, just like the furnace level. Okay, chill out, chill out. Oh god, these fucking pits. They're the worst. Alright, just don't worry about it. Don't worry about anything. There we go, halfway barrel. Making good time here. Oh, you bitch. Why would I do that? Well, I jumped right into that man's face. Right into his arms, dude. God damn it. Alright, at least we got the halfway barrel. Okay, careful, careful. Why are we going so fast? Can I slow down? God damn, kitty. Alright, sweet. Got him back. Oh, shit, son. You see that? You see that madness? Ah, oh, fuck. Don't let there be anything else, please. God damn it. No, 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 you- Yeah! <laughs> oh my god. I'm turning into Kitty Kong. Dude, this is gonna be the longest fucking video ever. Two levels are taking me as long as the world does. Oh shit, I probably should have died there. Fuck off. Alright, let's just take it nice and slow here. Right. There's a wall coming up. Okay, I probably really shouldn't have made that, but... Hey, I did it. I done did it, son. Whoa. That was, that was, ooh, that was a level. That was very nerve-wracking, I think. I think we'll, we'll call that one nerve-wracking level. Barrel drop bounce. I don't, oh, fuck this level. Remember in the water world when I was talking about the one where I got stuck on a lot as a kid? This is the one I was talking about. Where you gotta kill yourself. Fuck off. God damn it. So basically in this level you have to jump on these falling barrels that are falling from the waterfall. And you may be like, ah, oh, that doesn't seem too bad. Later it gets a lot worse, trust me. I mean, it's pretty bad right now, I mean, just look. Look, I didn't even make that. What the hell, man? Oh, this fucking level. God damn it. Alright, there we go. Okay. Whoa, I think I need this, don't I? I need this box for something. I'll use it on him, I guess. Oh, wow, already halfway point. That means this the second part of this fucking level is gonna be hell. Ugh. Can I get a fucking DK barrel, please? Oh, this part. This fucking part. Yep, here we go, guys. Fucking. You gotta, like. Oh, god damn it. You gotta ride these up, which physics would not allow this, first of all. Oh, that wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. <laughs> okay. Well, there's the DK barrel, so... There we go. Alright, maybe... Maybe I haven't played this game as much as when I was a kid, so... Oh, how did I not get hit on that? Or... How did I not land on that, rather? Fuck. Alright, there we go. Good timing, good timing. Oh, this guy's in this level, too. I forgot. Oh, god damn it. What do I do for you, fucking bird? Alright. Yeah, you get all those. Gotta wait here. Fuck, I really want another Donkey Kong barrel. What the hell am I supposed to do here? Is that low enough to where I can just. Yeah, I can just walk past them? <laughs> okay. Oh, this is very nerve wracking. Okay, let's see. Oh, kill. Oh. No, no, Dixie, you fuck! Why would you ever do that? Oh god damn it. What is this? What what? Whatever, we fucking lost the bird now and kitty. So we're just fucked. God damn it. Tom! Piece of shit. He's trying to let me. No, he needs to get out of my room, but I'm fucking recording at the moment, you fuck. Alright, well, wow, we were right there, too. Stupid motherfucker couldn't wait. Oh god, that guy was moving fast, he could've fucked me up. Alright, let's head into Neck Shot Croc. Which may be the last level before the boss, I'm not sure. Let's take a look. Alright, so this one's, this one's interesting. It's a, it's a unique level, I'll give it that. Uh. Basically, you're going through this level and you have a reticle aimed at you the whole time. You'll see in a minute when the level actually activates. Here it is. There's a little reticle and it will hit you. 
if you're not careful. But I'm a skilled player, so I don't need to worry about it. They'll shoot little fireballs at you, it's no big deal. I remember as a kid being very scared of this level. But now it's it's not. It's nothing. It's nothing to be worried about. Mmm, shouldn't have jumped over those guys, damn it. The enemies are a bigger concern than anything. Wow, I didn't think I'd make that one. But yeah, they put little barricades up just so you know you, you know you feel safer. I'll go ahead and use this one, I guess. Just to get a little bit of lead way. There we go. Alright, this is oh shit. Okay, whoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, whoa. This is getting edgy right now. Now that's what I call edgy. All right, sweet. And it's not, I think it should be insta-kill if you get hit by that, because it's it's so rare that you do, but I think it just takes a monkey. Oh shit. And you can, of course, go up in that pipe. It's a bonus, I'm not gonna do that. All right, whoa. Shit. That was close. Oh my god. I like how the screen lights up whenever you cross over, like, pits of lava. I've never noticed that before. It's very interesting. Oh shit, that was close. Oh my god. It's just, it takes a lot of button pressing and just fast movements of the thumb for this level. That's goddamn. Shit. Right. We're almost through. We're almost through. I think it was a very good idea to have the uh, spider in this level, though. Why did I go over there? Fuck you. Fuck you. Alright, sorry I'm not commentating as much on this level. It just takes a lot of concentration to get all the button movements right. Need you to die, thank you, Jesus. <gasps> oh shit. Right. Oh no. Oh Jesus Christ. Is this insta death if I fall in this fucking lava here? I don't want to find out. Alright, the radical's gone. Bitch. Oh my god. That was stressful. Whatever, fuck it. Fuck your barrels. I don't need them. Alright, so that was that. Oh, nope, there's one more level. L oh, fucking Linguins, dude. <laughs> Linguin Lunge. It's their, it's their version of Penguins. Fuck me. <laughs> this level's dumb. It's, it's not too dumb. It, it introduces another enemy that's only been featured in one level. I think each world has one of those, honestly. Cool, kitty. Just fucking find the nearest pit and jump in it, please. You fuck. But yeah, this one has little penguins. That are called ling linguins for some reason. Like, was was penguin really copyrighted, guys? What the fuck. And they have really weird hitboxes. If they hit you with their nose, yeah, see, you get fucking hit. But you can also bounce on them. So it, it's it's kind of like a weird hitbox thing, especially when they come out of their holes. Because if you don't hit it right, their nose will hit you when they're like coming vertical out of their holes. But you gotta be careful. Yeah, see, fuck off, bitch. <laughs> I like the music, though. The music is really good in this level. I don't know. The music in this game is, like, really good. Almost as good as the second one. There's a few tracks I like better than in the second one, actually. Better in this game. Oh, I shouldn't have got- I should have got hit there. I wonder if you can roll in them. Probably not. I'd imagine that's not a thing that happens. Oh shit, dude. It's like that WarioWare minigame where you gotta you gotta be the penguin. Oh you bitch, dude. Hit me right up the ass. His, his little penguin beak went right up there. Slid right in. Alright, kitty, you're useless. I'm glad. I'm glad you're gone. Alright. Oh. oh, he's back. Okay, sweet. I actually need him. Oh my god. What's going on here? Fuck it. 
There, that's the only way you do that, I assume. Oh my god. What a stressful level. This whole world is just stress. It's, it's, it's just, it should be called K-stress. Alright, that was dumb. Alright, let's go to the boss. One of my favorite bosses in the game, Bleak's, Bleak's house. This is Bleak, he is a snowman, and he throws snowballs at you. And you gotta, you gotta throw them at him. Okay. There we go. And you gotta hit his little scarf. But he starts later on. Oh my god, stop. Just, you fucking Jew, dude. There. He starts using his hat as a cannonball launcher. And this is where it gets hard. See? Little snowballs are just recolored versions of, uh, the fireballs. Featured in the previous, previous episodes and levels. Yeah, I like his little laugh. It's very scary. It reminds me of Joker. Okay, little bitch. I love his hat cannonball thing. I think Bleak should be featured in more, in more games. I think he should make a comeback. He is, he is one of the coolest bosses I've ever seen. Just his area too. Like, what is that little ball right there? What does that mean? Is that like which area he's in? Is that what that means? That's crazy. That little ball, I'm sure I zoomed in on it by now. I've never seen that though. But uh, but yeah, just the environment, especially how the sky is red. It's very cool. Fuck off. I'm just waiting, there we go. Is that it? Yep. Wow, I, I actually did really well on that boss. I usually don't do that well. I usually lose a Kong, then start freaking out because I lost one. <laughs> and that was K3. And now we can head into Razor Ridge. But that'll be in the next episode. If you guys did enjoy this one, make sure to drop a like down below. Comment if things say. Subscribe if you're new here. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Donkey Kong Country. Thanks for watching.